Greetings and welcome back to the colony of Long Island, where its administrator is enjoying some Lapsan Sushong. Uh, right, we've already got a couple of the plants planted. We definitely, definitely need more biologists now than ever before. So, I'm going to go ahead, put that up to 35. There we are. That should help out a fair old bit. Yeah. In fact, for the time being... Well... No, for the time being, I'm turning off traders because I just want colonists for now. Please bring me all of the colonists. There we go. Are you taking that up there? Yes, you are. Fantastic. I approve. In the meanwhile, whilst all that's going on, I'll set up another large... Solar panel. There we go. That'll help out with the batteries a fair old bit. Lots of bioplastic being brought in, plenty of food being generated and loaded into the canteen straight away. Got another biologist! Yay! Welcome aboard. Now, at this point, this lab is effectively supplying just this, but eventually, we're going to have so many um, places working on making us money-producing items that it'll be fine. Um, the next one we're going to want is processing plant. Now, as this is purely going to be starch, I mean, I guess build for the future. We don't need it right now, but eventually we will, probably. And I'll hook it up there. So that way, medicinal plants and starch can come straight in. Uh, medicinal plants there, starch straight down, bioplastic up, then med kits production there as well. It will be grand, I tell you. Grand! Uh, I may even have just the, the medical bay just built off there. I'm not sure on that one yet. But we are definitely going to need a, a dorm around here, I think. If not, for the sake of... The workers, then we're going to need it eventually for people coming by to uh, get a bit of rest and relaxation. Fuck that up. Power storage is low, and we are most of the way through the night. It's decreasing rapidly, but we'll probably be through the night before that we're completely run out. We definitely need more batteries and a little bit more solar power, I think. Well, we are tucking into this already. Alright, let's go ahead and build the next one as well. There we go. That'll do. We should start filling the batteries then. It's slow going at the moment, but eventually it's going to be fine. Once that's built, I'm getting rid of this, replacing it with another gigantic wind turbine. We have run out of space. My goodness. Really? Oh, the bioplastic is the problem now. Well, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The amount of stars we've got is staggering. Who have we got? We've got a worker? Oh, God. Very well. How are we doing for colonists at the moment? Got 18 biologists, 20 workers, 12 engineers, 10 medics, and 4 guards. We've also got 1 carry bot, 5 drill bots, 3 engineer bots. Things aren't going too bad, but we do need to get back on top of the spares situation, because we've got so many things that now need spares, which is the problem. Right, our biologists are having a hard time keeping up with the amount of work that we've given them, which, you know, is understandable. We've got an awful lot of plants for them to be watching over at the moment. And there's still a lot of hauling being done by my regular colonists. A couple of carry bots will fix that in time, but right now I can't afford to take priority off this. I need these made as soon as the materials that are available for them, because spares are the lifeblood of the colony right now go. That should not take too long to get done. Who have we got? Another biologist. Yes! That is exactly who we need. Let's have a quick gander. 
What are the percentages at? We, we are going to be getting biologists for a little while before we're done. We may get one more engineer, perhaps. But it's mostly going to be biologists for a while. And I'm completely okay with this. We go. Six more metal needed. We need two more metal there. And two more metal down here as well. And so this, we just need one more processing unit. But people are getting so unhappy because they've got such a long way to walk. They never get any time to just chill out. It's quite worrying, actually. I'm not sure how I can force them. If this were Wimworld, then I would just schedule some compulsory joy time. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way in this. We need to replace the robots that we're losing all the time as well. Okay, another colonist. Another biologist. Very well. Slowly getting on top of the food situation then. This I approve of. There we go. And if we can get that fixed, then I'll start filling this with bunks so people don't have to walk so far away to get a bit of shut eye. They'll be able to just duck down in here. Now. I believe that the bunkhouse is better for colonist needs because I don't believe that visitors will ever use a bunkhouse. The bed is basically reserved for a colonist, so that is probably a better idea in this area if I want some dedicated colonist beds, because if I get a lot of visitors, then they'll be using my regular dorms. Either that, or I just build a lot of dorms, which is the other option, and it's still a, a you know a, a reasonable option at that. All these down. There we go. There we are. Once that's all built up, I'll be pretty happy. We just need an engineer over here, and we have our new processing unit as well. We'll need a little bit of metal to get the uh, bioplastic smelters running. Not really smelters as much as I'm... As, uh, Fabricators, I guess. Bioplastic processor. It's a processor, not 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 a smelter. I'm gonna make this entirely bioplastic. We may as well go all out because if nothing else, it's gonna allow them to store the starch in these things. Now we want a connection there so that uh, the bioplastic can immediately be taken up and dropped off as well. But there we are. The bunks are being built, so that's fine. We're going to need some metal down here for these. Out of space. Oh, scallywags. What are we waiting on? Oh, we're just waiting on manpower, honestly. I mean, this is prioritized, so they should be coming here over anywhere else, but they just don't hang around for too long, unfortunately. There we go. And these are constantly working right now. But we're running low on power, I notice. Looks like we just got a new medic. What time is it? Uh, we'll make it through the night, I imagine, but... It's another night where I'm not too happy with that. Okay, well... With that in mind, it may be time to drop down a couple more batteries then. Just to carry us through the days. Uh, we may as well pop a few over here. Oh, no, we actually didn't quite make it. Well, that hasn't happened for a little while. There we go. Power is back on. We weren't out of power for very long, but still not something I like seeing. And we'll get a second one as well. There we go. Now. How are things going? Okay, we're starting to load these up with starch, which is great. Guards just kind of wandering around. That one should have been shot down. Kind of worrying that it wasn't. Once we're up at 70... Oh, there we are. We are now at 70. We're going to turn off colonist intake. There we go. No traders... E well, actually, we may as well allow traders. The only reason I turned traders off before is because I wanted every ship that was coming to be a colonist ship. I didn't want the traders to be clogging up the landing pad when I could have had... Col uh, Colonists instead. I forgot the word. 
There we go. Need one piece of metal and then we're done on this side. Still need one processor, mind you. There we go. Fantastic. Now we can load the starch in there. Food is being moved out. Let's see how our food situation has changed. If it has. Yes, it has changed. It's changed for the better. I'm very glad about that. Now, let's check out water. Oh, water's running low. O2? O2's fine. We're not going to have an issue with O2. But I am worried about the water. Let's check on the grid. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Now, this could just be because we're having a bit of a low spell with water. Or it could be something a little bit more malign. Either way... I think if we can find a spot around here to fit in another water collector, there we go, that'll do, right there. What we can do is we could possibly have this link up there so we've got some redundant connections. The harder you make it for a meteor to disconnect any chunk of buildings, the better it is going to be for the survivability of your colony. Ah, oh, look at you all doing work. Fantastic. What about the work down here? Ah, oh, that is very bad. Ah, oh, that is also very bad. We need more biologists. Damn it. The medic's chilling out with the workers there. You on your own. You might be some sort of, like, chief medical officer. You, you don't socialize with the plebeians. They're lucky to even have you in the same bar as them. Bloody toffs. All right, let's see. One more metal needed over here. It's grand. And we've got a new anti-meteor laser belt. We just need this connection constructed and we're good. Very happy to see that. Very happy indeed. That is going to uh, reassure me a little bit. Okay, how are we doing with batteries right now? Batteries are filling nicely. I am glad to see this. Very glad to see it, in fact. The next thing I would like to do is replace this with a wind generator. Let's see, we've got uh, 55, 110, 165, one, uh, sorry, 220, then we've got 275, I think, just shy, that's fine, that's, that's perfectly fine, though, if I take this away, it's going to be 40 gone, in exchange for something that may sometimes give us up to 80. Mm. I don't want any more solar panels, though. I really don't. I prefer to get another Goliath turbine, honestly. And then eventually another one there as well. Batteries, I think, are what we're going to need. We're just going to have to hold out for the really good days. Have a huge stockpile of energy. How are things going down here? Uh, you're pulling the plants back from the brink. I'm glad to see that. Very glad. We've got work going on in here. This should also be prioritised. If there's stuff to be processed, then it should be processed. We've got drill bots to handle the mining. This is working on a new drill bot. We are going to need the processors, but right now we don't have the engineers really to be doing that because we're prioritising moving around everything else so much. But we've got plenty of starch now and a lot of medicinal plants. So... Let's go ahead, get ourselves a med bay. I mean, I could have the med bay hooked up there, or I could hook it up here. In fact, I really do... Uh, no, not a med bay. What am I talking about? I need a lab. A lab hooked up here would be fine for me. Maybe I could hook up a med bay off that lab, in fact. Because then that'll give me uh, the facility to handle... Emergencies. We've run out of space again. Metal is the issue now. Solar flare hitting soon. Very well. Let's pull everyone in. Yellow alert, please. Get inside, everyone. This colony is now big enough that if you're on the wrong side of it and you decide to path for some unknown reason to one of the airlocks on the other side, you might not get in in time anymore. So we want everyone indoors. We've got our new battery, but this is going to be a nasty night. Ah, oh, drat. I was worried about that. Ah, oh, thankfully day is almost here, so the airlocks are going to activate again. Don't worry, don't worry. The solar panels are turning back on. Get inside, bots. 
There you go. Get in now. But it's clear that we do need another large solar panel for the days. So I'll queue that up right now. I'll have that hook up like this. This is the priority for now. Well, actually, no. This is the priority. I need to sort out our power situation so badly. Don't worry, everyone. Everyone is indoors. Everyone is indoors. We, we, we were on it this time. We were on the ball. Everyone is safe. Oh, do I actually have traders coming in? Yeah, I do. Mm, that's odd. Alright, got plenty of bioplastic. Anything that needs bioplastic is going to be fine. I probably will have some mines over here as well eventually. So I will have a, well, a processing dome dedicated to mines. Is it gone? I think so. Even though the music hasn't quite stopped. It looked, it looked um, dim enough, the light. Okay, let's get everyone back in, please. Uh, sorry, back out, doing your work. I was thinking back in the mines. but There we go. Plenty of solar power. All right. We do need much more, much more... Uh, metal though. The thing is, we've got loads of ores. It's just the carrying capacity that's holding us back right now. And there's only really two ways of solving that. Carry bots or colonists. Um. See, the thing with this is once we've got enough spares, and I do feel that spares are more important, once we've got enough, they'll start spilling over to the other things. The issue is, when all four of these have produced something, they've only produced eight spares. What I could do, it's a risky move, but I could tell manufacturing to produce only five spares. That means only two of these, uh, sorry, three of these machines have to run through a cycle for us to be at our maximum. So if the, all of these were filled up with goods and just for some reason my engineers haven't gotten there, once three of them do their work, then the rest of the materials will go to the other buildings, which is kind of what we want. Uh, no. Goodbye. Tempted to get rid of this to get that over there. Um. No. It's too, too close to daytime. We'll wait. We'll wait it out. Then get another wind turbine there. Plenty of bioplastic being stocked up. No metal being stocked up, though, because we're always on the brink. We might want to start just selling bioplastic as well. It may actually be a worthwhile trade good if we're making enough of it. Because it's fairly simple to do. Because the plants that make the starch also make food. So I'm going to have them anyway. Power levels are critical. Power levels should be getting a little bit better now. We only need two more metal. And we're sorted over here. That's one metal coming along. How are we doing? No. Always needing more. Always, always needing more. How are the ore? Uh, the ore is okay. I wonder why we're not getting things done. You know what? I am going to take the priority off this so that if I've got workers, they'll go and work on the metal room instead of this one. Generally speaking. I think that was perhaps a uh, bit of a bit of a a mental fumble. A natural one. Let's see, have we got any engineers or constructor bots? Ideally a constructor bot because they're faster. And my engineers got other important stuff to do. Oh, okay, well, I'll take whatever you give me. There we go. We're almost through the day. I could just get rid of you and build another one. I'm not sure, though. But we are definitely going to need more space production soon because... We've got so many things that now need space, it's getting very difficult to juggle it. Very, very difficult to juggle it. Come on, just one more, and we're good. How are our batteries? Ugh, batteries are bad. The batteries are not nearly full enough. Okay, it's night time. This is when we need to get rid of you. 
Goodbye. Chop, chop, everyone. We need that metal brought in. Uh, metal, yes, all of it. In exchange for a lot of these. And all of your money as well. And all of your spares. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome trade, actually. Chop, chop. Let's get all those med kits into the trading vessel right now, please. But that's going to be the end of this episode, though. I hope you've enjoyed. In the next... <laughs> In the next, we may actually start on our dedicated landing trading visitor area, but we might not as well. Um, depends on whether we can get our energy and space issues under control, because they are issues at this point. But regardless, I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, do take care.